today's video is another pregnancy update. I'm new here, really quickly, my name is Brittany. I am a mom of three girls. One is currently baking, her name is Everly, and then I have a five-year-old named Layla and a one-year-old named Aurora. I had a specialist appointment today for Everly. I thought today's appointment, we were just going to specifically look at Everly's heart. I did have one appointment with a cardiologist when I was living in Hawaii. I was around 19 weeks. I think I was a little bit before 19 weeks. Typically, they don't schedule you until you're at least 20 weeks pregnant just because anything before then, it's kind of hard to see like your baby's organs and everything and the heart is just too small. So typically, they don't schedule those appointments until you're at least 20 weeks. Like I said, I was a little bit before 19 weeks, I think. So it was kind of hard to pinpoint what's going on with her basically they told us that she has a hole right smack in the middle of her heart and since her heart was really small they weren't sure if the hole in her heart was affecting all four chambers so that's pretty much all that we know we weren't given like a name for a heart defect or anything like that today when i went in for that specialist appointment i kind of already knew like i said that she has a heart defect so kind of was already expect expecting to hear that but i wasn't expecting to see Oliver. I wasn't expecting to find out more stuff, which I did find out more stuff today. Technically wasn't supposed to be seen today. The specialist told me that they were still waiting on my referral. So since that referral is still waiting to be approved, technically, like I said, I wasn't supposed to be seen today, but he knows Everly's situation. He knows she has holoposencephaly and trisomy 13. So he just really wanted to see me at least for a consultation just so he can kind of do a quick ultrasound and just kind of get familiar with Everly and how she's doing. So I wasn't supposed to be seen. It was a very quick ultrasound. So he kind of just looked at her all over super quick, kind of got a feel of things and kind of just explained things to me. So when I first entered into the room he asked me if i knew what holoprosencephaly is he just basically wanted to know if i was aware of possible outcomes for everly and he just didn't want to give me any surprises today because like i said we were going over all of her so he didn't want to scare me or alarm me he wanted to make sure that i was aware of everything i needed a moment i've been sitting here for like an hour ready and I've been trying to film this for you guys and I want to say I try to put on like a brave front but I feel like I don't really show the hard times and like I said going into this appointment I was I kind of I already know all the information I've done my research on everything like I said I reached out to other mothers whose babies also had the same things as Everly. I just basically felt good going into today's appointment and I guess I didn't realize how much today's appointment affected me until trying to sit down and film this for you guys. And I know some of you guys are probably thinking, well, why don't you just, why don't you just don't film, like give yourself time. But honestly, just sitting here talking to you guys is kind of therapeutic for me. I know that's kind of weird to say because technically I'm talking to a camera. I don't know, like so many of you guys are just so sweet and reading your comments just really gets me through the hard days. And so many of you guys feel like family and you guys feel like close friends. Like I said, this specialist appointment wasn't super detailed because I technically wasn't supposed to be seen today. He did go over a really, really quickly on the ultrasound and he basically told me some new information. Some things I knew, some things I didn't know already. The first thing he told me was she has a cleft, which I already knew. If you guys have seen my 4D ultrasound with Everly, then you can clearly see she has a cleft on the ultrasound. He said she has a bilateral cleft lip and palate midline inside look at her stomach her stomach is on the small side look at her head her head is on the small side you looked at her kidneys she said her kidneys looked a little bit bright which meant that she has some fluid in her kidneys and then he looked at her hands and he said her hands kind of looked um turned in when i was in there like i said i felt good i felt prepared even after my appointment I felt great, but just sitting here and thinking about it now, what makes it so hard is, I guess I was so focused on her heart because like I said, I thought the specialist was just a cardiologist. I didn't know we were going to look at 
everything I was so focused on that it was a cardiologist and that we were just going to look at her heart I was so focused on you know just heart defects in my mind I wasn't thinking about oh her kidneys might be affected or her stomach might be affected it's just hard knowing that like every single body part basically is affected the one good thing I can say is my husband Benny is almost home he'll be here in a few days literally like two days so he'll be able to go with me at my next specialist appointment which is on 24th which is next Monday I'm honestly kind of nervous to take him with me and I know that sounds weird because he's my husband he hasn't really seen Everly you guys like at all I had a bunch of ultrasounds in Hawaii but at the time it was even before I released diagnosis so during that whole period of getting testing done and finding out her diagnosis and everything and finding out the gender literally everything he was in the middle of going through airman leadership school if you're in the military and you're familiar with that it's like kind of brutal honestly for families to go through because he was like up late, he was gone all day, pretty much I felt like we didn't see him for like, goodness, I don't even remember how long that lasted, but I think it was like a full month. Basically, it didn't even feel like we saw him because whenever he was home, he was doing school, then he had to graduate, and he was going through all of this when we were going through everything with Everly, and there was no way around his leadership school because you cannot miss like a day of that. There was just so much going on, so I went to a lot of my appointments by myself. My husband hasn't been with me to any ultrasounds where he really, you know, gets to see her face and everything. Obviously, I sent him a video of her 4D ultrasound. I've sent him pictures and everything, but he hasn't physically been there with me. It's a little different seeing pictures than physically being there and, you know, feeling the baby kick and you know actually hearing the words come out of the doctor's mouth kind of makes things more real so I'm a little nervous for it but I'm super excited to finally have him there finally have that support as far as how I'm feeling I don't know if you guys can tell in this video but I'm just I'm exhausted and I honestly feel like labor is approaching I just feel like I don't know like physically I just feel like I'm I'm done and it kind of breaks my heart to say that out loud because as long as Everly is fighting, I'm going to keep fighting and I'm going to keep praying for each and every passing day that I have with her. If you've ever been pregnant and you get close to your due date and you're really close to labor, then you know how your body just feels done and you feel like you just can't anymore and you can't get bigger and you just have so much pressure and everything. That's where I'm at physically right now. I could literally be laying down on the couch all day and I am so exhausted. Like I feel like I ran a marathon. I just feel so much pressure and I don't know if it's because she's breech and she's literally sideways in my stomach. I don't know if that's making me uncomfortable. I just feel so achy. My back hurts all the time. I can never get comfortable anymore. Physically, I'm just so exhausted. I just feel so drained. I don't really have any cravings anymore, which is kind of annoying. I would rather take the cravings than not knowing what to eat. Because I feel like I'm kind of like in my first trimester all over again, but even more so extreme because now I have a giant belly. I actually have an appointment tomorrow on Tuesday with my regular OB, so you guys will probably get another clip of Everly. I have a really exciting video coming your guys' way because like I said, my husband gets home in two freaking days and I'm so excited, I'm so ready, and I can't wait to film the girls' reactions, so make sure you're subscribed, make sure that bell is clicked. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.